Frederick coming at you with another video. We're doing another store tour with Broar. Here we are inside the Fashion Show Mall. We're doing a revisit to see how they're faring. Haven't been here, well I've been here, but I haven't taken you here in a couple of months since the reopen. So I thought we'd have a look around. It is Saturday afternoon, August 15th, 14th, excuse me, at approximately 5 p.m. For those of you new to the channel, again, my name is Broad Frederick, Las Vegas based professional photographer, videographer, cinematographer, and part time philosopher. So I'm going to take you along for a little walk. Now let's see how the fashion show mall has changed since it opened back in June. Also took a look at Hugo Boss. I like Hugo Boss. Also took a look at the uh, forum shops today and they were doing quite well. Let's look back this way. This is actually a line to get into Tiffany's. That's kind of awesome. There may be random spots throughout this video where I have to mute the sound due to the music that's being played in here. You'll know when that happens, obviously. So I'm noticing right off the bat a few more stores that are open since the initial phase two opening. What do we got here? Banana Republic over there. City Life. So that's a pleasant surprise. But I'm also seeing a few stores that are still closed, that have been closed. Don't know if they're returning or not. But as you can see, I'm kind of weaving in and out of the crowd here. Doc Martens. Look at this. Urban Necessities. Check out the line to get in. There's a line to get in. Polo. I like polo jeans. So as you can see, people are here. They're spending their money. Masked up for the most part. Let me spin around. I'm entering a copyright music zone. <laughs> Hollister, not my deal. If it's yours, cool. There's a 20 something cologne smell coming out of there. Let's get out of that direction. Zara, not a big fan of Zara, but there is a line for Zara. Let's make our way on this side. Even the massage chairs are doing business. That's awesome to see. You know, those coin-operated dealies. There you go, there's an empty one. Leasing opportunities available. Come on down, make your dreams come true. Let me lower this camera angle a bit. You don't want to see the ceiling or the floor. There we go. I think that's a little better. Let's peek over the side. Hello down there. Swatch. I always look to see if people have bags with them to get an idea of if they're buying or not. I see bags. Okay, here's a... Uh, that's Forever 21, ladies. Look at the lines down here. Granted, eight months ago, it would be about three times busier, depending on the time of day. But definitely coming back to life. Brain freeze.
line outside, Louis Vuitton. There's the Michael Kors action. <laughs> you can actually hear it reverberating with people in here. I'll put a card up for the original opening video. Yeah, look at Sephora down there. We're gonna pass them all, but might as well sneak peek. The original video, I'll put a card up so you can see it. Now bear in mind, I did come at like, you know, five minutes after opening because I wanted it to be quiet. I wanted to be able to showcase the stores. This video, Lion's waiting to get in. This video, I wanted to do something a little different. Oh, as, uh, yeah, they're still closed. Thousand dollar laptop cases. I wanted to show the people. I wanted to show everything coming back to life. So that was the intent of this video. So we'll quickly go through the stores themselves, of course. Line there. But I wanted to give everyone a feel for how everything's sort of, I can't say normal, but how things are returning. Because I am indeed seeing a week over week improvement in the amount of people who are coming, the amount of people who are showing up, the amount of people who are spending money, the amount of people who are gaming, the amount of people who are visiting restaurants. It's, uh, you know, Vegas is Vegas. There's only one. There's great deals going on right now, so people are definitely taking advantage of it. And it's not just people coming in from California driving. The planes are in the air. And that's another video I'm gonna do. I might put a card right here. Where are they? I might put a card right there to the closed McCarran Airport video because that was when there was three flights a day and I was the absolute only person besides uh, FAA and a few cops in the entire place. I basically had the run of it. They let me film it, which was absolutely awesome of them. But I captured it more. We'll go down here. Yeah, let's go down here now. I captured it more to uh, put posterity's sake, just like I did the two strip walks. Uh, I walked from the sign to the stratosphere, and I walked from the stratosphere back to the sign. And those are like three hour walks, desolate walks. And not the most popular videos I've ever done, I'll be perfectly honest, but I wanted to capture it for posterity because hopefully that is the last time we'll ever see McCarran Airport empty. But I am gonna return probably next week and do another video to show what's going on there. How you doing? <laughs> to show what's going on over there, I wanna see the, uh, the amount of flights coming in. I wanna see the people coming in. I wanna see where they're coming from, so. We're gonna go look at that together too. I wanted to do some outside videos too, but it is currently, like I said, around five o'clock, and it's 1.15 out right now, and we're having quite the hot spell. Now, we should be used to it, we're in Vegas, <laughs> but you never get used to anything over 105, to be perfectly honest. But it's a dry heat. <laughs> yeah, so's an oven. <laughs> So 115 and with a mask and all that other type of stuff, it's not the most pleasant experience. Here's something I wanted to show. This is, or shall I say was, one of the largest Apple stores in Las Vegas, inside the Fashion Show Mall, right off the strip. And as you can tell, they're gone. They, uh, they pretty much rolled up the carpets as their statement they pretty much rolled up the carpets on their retail locations due to this and you know what once they figure out the cost savings involved you'll probably never see them again so I kind of feel bad for you Apple guys and gals <laughs> I rock the Samsung so I got no issues in fact when I call Samsung if and when Nordstrom's is open 
Tommy Bahama, not going to give them any more free advertising. Did enough of that over the past couple days. But if and when I ever have to call Samsung, they actually answer the phone. Hello, Bro Frederick. How can we help you today? <laughs> because they recognize the, uh, the phone number. That's the quality of service I get from Samsung. So I'm going to pick up a Samsung Note 20 Ultra. I don't even know what to expect out of that thing. The only thing different is it's slightly bigger from what I understand for you phone geeks. And it has steady shot in 4K mode, which my Note 10 only has, locker room, only has steady shot in 1080p. So that's a bit of a bummer. But I gotta check the rest of the stats. But I gotta upgrade, you always gotta upgrade, come on now. That's my little pitch for Samsung. Because people always ask me, I mean, I don't film everything on a Samsung, but obviously the drives that you see at the very beginning, those are done on my Note 10 Plus, GNC. Wow, what the heck? Check this out, locals and Taurus. Store closing, final days, 30 to 50% off. So if you want to come and grab some deals on some supplements, I might go in there after I'm done and grab me some protein. But I need some protein after I get my squats done. California. We're going to walk straight ahead and then we'll head upstairs. Check that out. How you doing? Want to say hello? the dead cat. You want to welcome everyone to your place? Awesome. Dick Sporting Goods. It really should be called like Dick's Apparel at this point. They used to have everything. Now it's basically an apparel shop. And what do we got here? Janie and Jack. No clue. Chipotle, there's one person in there. The walking company, <laughs> that should be my middle name. <laughs> I've done a lot of walking. I'm happy to see Grimaldi's open. Godiva, are they closed over here? They were open at the Grand Canal shops at the Venetian. They are, let's see what their story is. What are they saying here? Blah, 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 see you soon. So basically it says, see you soon. Gaps are still closed, but I did see uh, the Gap starting to reopen at the, uh, the forum shop today. So that was kind of cool. Gap does not open unless they feel they can actually do some business. So that's a good sign. Oh, here's one that's absolutely gone. Let's go see who that is. That is... Oh, no kidding. Check it out. Channel Laundry. AMF. Oh, this... This ice cream smells good. <laughs> who are they? Let's give them a little activity. Give them a little love. That smells really good. This is a cool store, too. Karma luck, they're everywhere. Check that out. I think there's one upstairs too. It's kind of cool if that's your thing. I'll tell you something different I've noticed. The uh, the mall kiosk hawkers are not as aggressive as they normally were. You know, that's such a turnoff when they get in your face, but at the same time, it should be a lesson to all of us. Just do what you have to do. No shame. Should we go down? Yeah, let's head down. Yep, sorry for pointing that ceiling. Let's get back here. What is that all about? Oh, here's one for you. So if you don't know, Fashion Show Mall is right over the bridge from the wind. 
and you can also get to it from TI. So if you want to do a BYOB, bring your own bottle. You don't want to pay for drinks or wait for drinks, and you know the bars are currently closed. Hit up an ABC. You know, the prices are a little higher than you expect to spend, but it's definitely not uh, 15 bucks a beer. Buckle. Oh, someone had asked me about uh, White House Black Market. There's Macy's in the background. So, yes, your wife is going to have fun <laughs> if that's her favorite store. They are opening, and dig this. Up to 70% off. Can't beat that with a stick. Getting loud in here again. Victoria's Secret. Ladies. Aldo. At the... Let's see, where were we? At the... Uh, it's Aldo. At the Miracle Mile was running a 70% off sale. So if you got a choice between the two, if you're looking for an Aldo, hit up the one in the Fashion Show Mall. Not the Fashion Show Mall, excuse me. Hit up the one at Miracle Mile. Get your 70% off. People buying jewelry. Lucky Brand is open. Pops is back open. And here's the Sephora we passed before with the line waiting to get in. Ladies. A legging spot. so many pairs of Oakley glasses over the years. They used to be the shit. If you didn't have a set of Oakleys, you would just like, that was like having skips when you were a kid if you didn't have a pair of Oakleys. I don't know if they're in style anymore. Who remembers Gargoyle? Gargoyle was stylish too. You know, they were about a hundred a pop, 150 a pop. If you looked at them, they scratched. But they were nice. There's a line to get some smoothies or something. from the land of my people. And if you're wondering what my people were, if you haven't figured out by the name, I am mostly Swedish, a little bit Norwegian, a tiny bit German, and I was raised by Italians. <laughs> so I'm a trip around the world, but mostly Nordic Scandinavian. Oh, we're in the quiet section, okay. Macy's is running some huge sales too. I got a flyer from them. I was like, what are you giving this stuff away? Surprise they're empty. I know a lot of you have been checking out my website because I see a tremendous amount of hits going on and I appreciate that. That website is mostly showcasing my photography. Yeah, let's go outside a little while. Well, maybe one more trip over here. Yeah, let's do that. Because it's 115, I'm not gonna lie. Let's save the outdoors for the end. And Taylor, Pinto and Ranch is not open. There's actually a nail salon in here. Ugh, that's never a good sign for a high-end mall to have a nail salon, but I hope they do good business. Beach Money, let's check out Beach Money. Ladies. But I 
appreciate everyone going over there, checking out the site. I'm going to put up a specific site. Now that we have a good amount of people following, actually several thousand people following, thank you, I appreciate that very much. Now that we have several thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel, I will put up a page dedicated to my comings and goings. That way you can follow me, maybe we'll do an email list or something, I don't know. Definitely we'll end up doing something for the 9% Club. And if you're not part of the 9% Club, don't know what the 9% Club is, 9% of the viewers, subscribed or not, stick around to the end of every single one of my videos. That helps me because it lets YouTube know that I'm giving you guys what you want. So that helps me out tremendously when it comes to exposure so we can grow our little family here. And if you want to join the 9% Club, stick around to the end of the video and in this corner, nope, wait, this corner, I will put the 9% phrase or word of the day. Drop that in the comments and I will acknowledge you. We'll do special videos. We'll do shout outs. I might even advertise your businesses a little bit. We'll figure something out. But you guys are appreciated the most, but I appreciate every single one of you who comes along with me on these little adventures. Ah, uh, the music's a bit loud out here. I don't want to get spank -oled. Let's get a little fashion show. There we go. <laughs> now you know where I am. Whoa, it's hot out here. Holy cow. Woo! That's kind of tough to breathe. Champs. People still wear champs? I don't. A unique thing that we just passed the Skechers. A unique thing that you'll find about Skechers, I don't know if it's if it's throughout the entire country, but here in Las Vegas, you can buy Skechers for the same price in the mall, in the outlets, and then even in our local stores. They do not uh, they do not jack up they don't jack up the price to make more money off of tourists, and that is always appreciated. So if you need some new walking shoes, hit up Skechers, because you'll pay the exact same amount in the beautiful fashion show mall as you would at the store next to Walmart. Free people, I don't know what that's all about. Mac Cosmetics, ladies, Starbucks, There is one, let's go up to the third level. Last time I took everyone up to, all the way up to uh, where the, uh, whatchamacallit, the food court is. That's like the fourth level. But <laughs> do you really want to see people eating uh, cheese fries? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's let them eat their cheese fries in peace. But I'm sure there's people, I mean, based on the fact that you got this kind of line for smoothies, I'm sure the food court's doing all right. Every Tory Burch I've seen so far has not been looking all that good. I mean, the stores themselves look good, but as far as uh, any type of volume or business that they're doing, Kate Spade. It's sad what happened to her, right? What store is this? I keep seeing lines and that funky thing. 
I'm not gonna stop, but if you know what store that is, shout that out in the comments. I'm curious. Bath and Beyond for those awesome smelling hand soaps for the bathroom. <laughs> That's all I buy in there. Come wash your hands at my place. You walk out smelling good. I spare no expense. Look at that line. Shoe Palace like 50 people on that line uh, I'm gonna have to cover that music up I think Express that was real popular like what 15, 20 years ago? Is that still popular? Let me know. I mean, I guess it has to be if they're willing to spend 50, 60,000 a month, which is, I'm guessing, what their rent is. What do we got? Swarovski? This is an interesting place down here. I want to see if they're open. It's an actual place. I've seen them on the Travel Channel. Let's take a look down there. I've seen them on the Travel Channel and such, but you put your feet in an aquarium type deal and these like minnows, piranhas, I don't know what they put in there. They like eat your dead skin and your bacteria, <laughs> whatever else. Kind of like, uh, I don't know, fish based pedicure. But they're doing good, doing business. We'll go check them out. This is called the Fashion Show Mall for more reasons than one. They, that down there, let's see, this is actually a runway that rises up out of the floor and they do legitimate fashion shows here. Let's see if we can get a look. That's the control booth, DJ booth, lighting and such. They haven't done one in a while, obviously. But they run them a couple times a year. You know, pre uh, whatever you want to call what we're in now. And Santa Claus does his thing there too. And that's always cool. Always got to shout out my man Santa. Let's see, Revolt Tattoos, K Jewelers. K Jewelers not doing much of anything. I think K Jewelers is getting a little long in the tooth anyway. Revolt Tattoos. If you're into ink, I hear, I have no ink, but I hear this is a good place. Oh, here we go. There's the spot right here. Wow. Can I come and take a look around? Good, we talked before, how are you? I'm just gonna come in and show everyone around real quick. Do you mind? Want to say hello to YouTube? Give them a shout out. You good? <laughs> You're famous now. This is what we were talking about. Look at this.
I'll come back and see you soon. Thank you. She wants to speak with you. <laughs> that was fun. I am actually going to do that. I'll be perfectly honest. I'm going to go in there and have some fish nibble on my feet. They seem to be enjoying it. I think I'd enjoy that. Just for the novelty. 35 bucks? To sit there, listen to some music, have some fish nibble on your feet. Never knew what this place was. I'll be perfectly honest, that place always gave me the creep factor. I don't know why. You ever see in life some things give you the heebie-jeebies? That place was one of them. Not sad to see them go. Windsor, if you want to buy a quick dress, some quick lingerie while you're here in Vegas, Windsor is the place to do it. They're affordable, quality. In the back they have the, uh, you know, your negligees and your intimate apparel. So you can see, I mean, granted, they're getting ready to close. Oh, one announcement, the forum shops, they're closing instead of closing at seven, they're closing at eight now. So you got an extra hour of shopping over at the forum shops. Here, Fashion Show Mall, they still close at 7 p.m. Oh, I don't know how that kid's doing. So if you have any recommendations, any places you want me to go, any places you want me to film, any places you want me to see, I'd be more than happy to do it for you. Drop it down in the comments if it makes sense for me and you guys want to see it, I shall definitely go do it. So I want to thank everyone for coming along for this walk. I wanted to show fashion show mall coming back to life even though they're getting ready to close you can still see plenty of people I'm gonna go pay the fish pedicure place a visit because <laughs> I got a high five to come back they want to talk that's always appreciated and right now let me stand still right now right here is the 9% phrase or word of the day so drop that in the comments. Let me know you hung out till the end. And on that note, Roar Frederick out. <laughs>